And when it gets this cold, we know winter can pose some real risks to your pets. It can, but most dogs still should go on a daily walk. Dr. Eric Rulin from St. Paul Pet Hospital is here with advice on keeping your pet safe and comfortable in the cold weather, which it would be really hard to do in these you know, <laughs> today. Happy, happy Monday morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and the wind. Um, all right, so we've got some cold days ahead. Yeah. And, and maybe is there a day, would you say, that it's too cold to walk your dog? I would say any time it's probably below 10 to 15 below, it's it's probably not okay to be walking on, I wouldn't walk on sidewalks. So something to always take into consideration is deep snow is a little bit more insulating on their feet. So hmm. we're talking about sidewalks, like walking the side, probably 15 to 10 below air temperature. That's usually my cutoff for butter. We usually, we're staying in the house. Duration of a walk. I, I mean, you know, some dogs, it's <laughs> under a minute, depending on the dog. Others yeah. could, I mean, seemingly could be out there for an hour and a half. Like, what, what's kind of the You're going to have to judge that based on the size of the dog. You know, bigger dogs with bigger hair coats can stay out there longer. Um, I've got some dogs in the practice that their base, their, their baseline, they could stay outside at, 10, at 5 below all day long. So the smaller the dog the, the, and the shorter the mm -hmm. hair coat, we're going to have to adjust a little bit. I would say my, my general rule of thumb, below zero, probably on a smaller dog or a smallish dog, no, le no more than a half an hour outside. Okay. So. Yeah. We know some breeds, you know, like Huskies, as you mentioned, with long. Yeah. They're kind of bred to do that. Um, let's move on and talk about how you can make things easy for your dog as far as kind of clearing the area for them to run around in, and maybe those things we don't think about and why it's so important yeah. that your dog has a place to go where they're not directly and, on ice. And, and so and in, the, in our backyards in particular, I think, I think when we go back to this, it's always ice and it's always that contact and it's those it, and it's cutting paws that creates a, mm -hmm. a large problem. So yes, getting anything out of the backyard that could be frozen down, things that they can run into, oh. butter's a little bit of a knucklehead, she runs into things, so stuff, like getting that stuff kind of cleared out is not a bad idea. But, um, but yeah, having a space that's open that's, that just has snow pack, that doesn't have a lot of ice, that's not, that doesn't have traction control products, that's a big problem. We've talked about that before earlier uh, um, a couple weeks ago we talked about it those those things like the cherry stone grit if you ever watch a dog when they're walking down a sidewalk and they immediately stop and they freeze mm -hmm. if you've ever taken your your like you're just barefoot and walked in that yeah. it's like walking on broken glass so if you see a dog immediately mm. just freeze where they're walking you may have to pick them up and move them because if somebody's spreading all that you might not be able to get around a building or around a space so when they immediately freeze up don't think you can just grab the dog and keep pulling them. That really is frustrating for me to see people oh. just like pull the dog and they're like, what's going on? Well, the reason they're, they're stopping is that is really painful. Really, really painful. Okay, so, so there's a reason they're doing that. They're yeah. not just, okay. And we've talked about that, like clean their paws off. If they're right. doing that, immediately stop and get their, get them on a new, you know, get the, move them out of that. You can usually see it. Clean it off their paws immediately because that stuff gets wedged in between there. Mm. So Again, you know, if, if people are putting salt down, obviously, you know, you can sometimes see that. Yeah. Um, is that really dangerous to them, or is it just you don't want to be there, be on it for a long amount of time? I the mean, salt will dry their pads out if you let it stay in their pads. It will dry the pads out when they go home. So keeping them, keeping their pads clean and dry every time when you get when you get in is really important. And watching out for cuts too. And I know we talked about this before in previous episodes. If you're walking the dog and all of a sudden you see some drops of blood like on their feet, if it's below zero, they can those open those open spots of blood can freeze down to the concrete really fast. And mm -hmm. I've seen it happen where a dog where dogs will actually freeze their pads to the concrete. <gasps> oh, wow. So be really, really mindful because a little cut can turn into something really big really quickly. Yeah. So just be watching, you know, just be just watching their tracks. So. Now, um, my last pup packs had really sensitive paws and I bought one of these little warming, um, I, I guess it, it was a, a mat uh -huh. that I plug in outside and so, because I would have ice dams ahead and you know, that's the place he would stand. That was really helpful. Couldn't yeah. get the boots on them though. Boots and yeah. sweaters. These not every dog is going to go for that. No. Is there a, is there a, some special way to help people who maybe want to be out with their dog more and to get starting them out young, especially with the boots and just some dogs have just fairly sensitive feet. And I know we've shown like I've, I've trained Butter to have you know we have a couple tricks that we've learned from the time she's she was a uh, a baby, but um, and ha teaching them to shake so that you can clean their paws off is really really helpful. But the booties, if you start from a young age, usually that will help. Most of the time, jackets are not needed. You guys, we don't see I don't know the last time I saw a dog that actually had true hypothermia you mm. know it's been a long time they may freeze ear you know they may get mm. frostbite on the ear tip margins um, and they you know the paw pads are always a problem but true hypothermia I mean 
Butter was a, a dog that's been engineered and designed to be outside in 10 below weather, so she'll sit outside for a long time. So hi, true hypothermia isn't a problem, but the pat, the paw pads are always, mm. always a big issue. You mentioned frostbite. What, what, yeah. How does that look? How does that manifest itself in pets? So normally they get little crusting kind of lesions on the tips of their ears, and especially on their on the very very bridge of their noses too, in the very tips. Sometimes their nose, the, you can use that uh, musher's uh, secret and and oh, or just yeah. Vaseline on the top of their nose if you're noticing that, that that is for dogs that are outside a lot a lot in the winter you, most of our dogs that are going out to go to the bathroom or going on a half hour walk that's not going to be a problem okay yeah. and, and reflectors you think are important if you're walking your dog especially you know at night makes sense that's something i did not actually even think about but Alex, that's a really really good point um yeah it's it's dark at 4 30 already yeah. and and mm -hmm. um don't assume that pedestrian or that people are driving can see you. Um, I had a really funny interaction with a guy the other day as I was crossing the sidewalk, and uh, he just didn't see me. And I just we just kind of laughed about it. But I was like, you know, I never assume that someone will see you. Same thing with your pets. Don't assume. Don't assume anybody can ever see you in the crosswalk and reflectors sure. are. Great. Look at Butter. I mean, she could get lost in the snow I mean, when you're exactly. walking. That's true. It, it, I love true. that we do this every Monday because Butter is all of us on a Monday morning. Yeah. Right? Every right. every week, Butter's like, oof, this weekend uh, really, man, did like me in. Not, not I love not. it. She's just so chill. Dr. Eric Butter, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, you guys. Be Appreciate safe out there. It, it is thank cold. You. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Head to uh, stpaulpet.com for more information about the hospital there.